Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize any printable to suit the Erin Condren planner. So locate the printable on your computer and then open it up. I like to use Adobe Reader, which is what I have open at the moment. If you want to try it with a free printable, this one you can download from my blog. I'll include the link below. Um, I'll also include the link for Adobe if you don't already have it installed on your computer. So once you've opened up the printable, press Control P and that will bring up your print menu. You want to change it to whatever printer you're using and go to properties. I'm using a Canon printer. If you are using a different brand instead of properties, it might say advanced or like more options or something like that. But it will usually have a menu that looks something like this with a printer page size option. So in here, if you were doing um, like A5, obviously you can just select that page size. However, Erin Condren and most um, planners these days have kind of like an obscure dimension, which doesn't really come in standard paper size. So you need to click custom. Then go to inches. Now the Erin Condren is seven inches wide by 8.75 inches high. If you are using like the Plum Paper or Lime Life or another um, planner brand, you can enter in those dimensions instead, totally up to you, whatever size you want to use and hit OK. The other thing that I like to do while I'm in this menu, if you have the option in print quality, I like to increase that to high, this makes the colors nice and bright and then hit OK and then you can go ahead and print. So as for printing, I always print onto full page size paper. I'm located in Australia, hence the accent, um, and I use A4 paper. So I print it onto A4 and then I trim off the excess. So this will go in one corner of the page and then you'll have a bit of white on the edge. If your little preview doesn't look like this, it might be like that. You just need to hit fit to page. Um, so anyway, print on full page size and then cut it out. If you're doing a whole bunch of printables resized, then I will just have one as the template. Like I'll do a little line in pencil and I'll have that on top of a stack and then I'll get a paper guillotine and punch like 10, etc. at a time um, to fill out my planner that way. So up to you, you can pre-cut uh, the paper to this page size and print directly on there. The reason I don't do that though is that sometimes the pages, if they're not perfectly aligned in your printer, they can slip and it can just be a bit wonky. And some printers also will not accept paper that is less than like standard page size. So hence why I just recommend printing it on full page size and then trimming it after printing. So once you're done with that, hit print and then you can go ahead and use the printable.